Dear friends, greetings from Vinay Joseph. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this capsule, we will learn about magic squares and specifically magic squares which are odd in number. For example, 3 by 3 or 5 by 5 or 7 by 7 etc. And what does this 3 by 3 mean? 3 by 3 means it will have 3 rows and 3 columns and in total you will have 9 small squares and each small square is called as a grid. To construct a magic square, we will have some small rule set to follow and the rules that we follow are this direction in between north and east is called as northeast. You will have to know that we use this northeast rule when we construct an odd magic square. And along with the northeast rule, we will also be using perpendiculars which are horizontal and vertical. This is a 3 by 3 magic square. It has 3 rows and it has 3 columns. And each small square that we have is called as a grid. You can call it as a small square as well. Now what do I do? I will use natural numbers to fill in these grids and I use a pattern to fill these grids. After filling all the 9 grids, whichever row you add or whichever column you add or if you add a diagonal wise also, you should get a same sum. Should we only use the natural numbers? You need not use only the natural numbers. You can use any set of numbers which are in arithmetic progression. So here we go. I will take the first natural number. I will fill it up in the top row central grid. 1. After I fill up the top row central grid, I will move out of the system in the northeast direction. How far will I move? I will move till I reach the adjacent column or adjacent row. Now, after I have moved in the northeast direction, I have gone out of the system. To enter the system, I will draw perpendiculars. Here, I will be drawing the vertical perpendicular. And the vertical perpendicular is drawn till we reach the end of the system and we write the next number 2. Then again, northeast direction. I am out of the system. Now, I will enter the system by drawing a perpendicular and this perpendicular will be the horizontal perpendicular till I reach the end of the system. Then I write the next element that is 3. In a 3 by 3 square, after we finish entering the 3 elements, then the 4th element is entered by dropping down. I will drop down now from the square where I ended. Then I will enter the next element. Now, northeast direction, the next element. 
northeast direction the next element so the first set of numbers in a 3 by 3 square are 1 2 and 3 i finished entering and after the third element is entered i drop down the second set of numbers 4 5 6 after i finish the second set of numbers again i will drop down write the next digit 7 now northeast then perpendicular till the end write the next digit again northeast you go out of the system from there you enter come to the end of the system write the next one there we finish the 3 by 3 magic square now what will be the magic sum the magic sum will be equal to the entry in the central grid the central grid is having 5 as its entry multiplied by the 3 by 3 magic square has either 3 rows or 3 columns so I multiply by 3 15 should be the magic sum add and check 8 plus 1 9 plus 6 is 15 3 plus 5 8 plus 7 15 4 plus 9 13 plus 2 15 add it in whichever row or whichever column or a diagonal wise you will get the magic sum equal to 15. let us check the principal diagonal 8 plus 5 13 plus 2 15 the secondary diagonal 4 plus 5 9 plus 6 15 however you add you will get the magic sum and this is how you construct a magic square an odd numbered magic square and this was a 3 by 3 magic square that was constructed now we'll take a 5 by 5 magic square again for simplicity's sake i'll take the natural numbers topmost row central grid 1 northeast out of the system perpendicular till the end of the system the next element 2 northeast 3 northeast out of the system till the end of the system a perpendicular is drawn 4 northeast 5 so in a 5 by 5 magic square I have finished entering the first 5 elements after the fifth element the sixth element is written by dropping down 6 northeast 7 northeast 8 northeast perpendicular 9 northeast perpendicular 10 so i have finished the second set of numbers how many sets will a 5 by 5 square have a 5 by 5 square will have five sets of numbers you can even tell multiples of five after the first multiple of five the sixth element is dropped down the tenth element is written after that the eleventh element will be written by dropping down northeast 12 northeast 13 northeast 14 northeast 15 the third set of numbers are finished after the third set drop down 16 northeast perpendicular 17 northeast perpendicular 18 northeast 19 northeast 20 after the fourth set of numbers i'll drop down again 21 northeast 22 northeast perpendicular 23 northeast 24 northeast i go out of the system drop the perpendicular come to the end of the system and the last element 25 so what will be the magic sum magic sum will be equal to in a 5 by 5 square the 
central grid has an entry 13 multiplied by 5 that will be equal to 65. 65 should be the magic sum in whichever row or column or diagonal you add. We will just check one. We will check the principal diagonal. 17 plus 5, 22. 22 plus 13 is 35. 35 plus 21, 56 plus 9, 65. So the magic sum, however you add, will be 65. If you want to cross check with any other row or column, you please do it. And also try the other odd numbered squares, 7 by 7, 9 by 9, 11 by 11, etc. And also change the elements that are entered instead of using natural numbers use any set of numbers which form an arithmetic progression. This is also a, a method adopted to create interest in the subject. Mathematics is a subject which needs continuous attention, upgradation and discipline. Dear friends, please subscribe to the channel, comment and share with your friends and spread the news that there is a channel which will help the students understand, learn mathematics better. And also in this channel, we will be sharing some videos about great personalities and also some tips about life skills and how to live your life better. Please take care, be safe and God bless.